Hello, everybody. Welcome back to episode 27 of Apex Craft. I think I mislabeled the last episode. Let me go and double check real quick. Yeah, I mislabeled the last episode. The last episode was supposed to be 20, 26. I think I called it 25. Well, I have made an energy test reactor and figured out what the heck. So, we're going to put this guy here and set him up for my private channel. And receive only. We're also going to say that he requires a high redstone signal. And then we're going to put a lever on it. Sticks, sticks, I need sticks. I know there were sticks here. Alright. Got wood in my inventory already. Mercy me. Alright. Slap a lever on this thing. And call it pretty. <clears throat> We're also, I believe, so right clicking on the ME controller, pull it up. I want to. Oh, same thing here. Right clicking with the wrench. Alright. I'm going to put our controller here because the controller is where the power has to enter the system. And we'll make sure this guy's on. Let's go and make sure that we have other assorted power. This is on. Right. On. And turning this on. Doop. Should power this thing up. Awesome. So now I can uh, I can power this on and off and not continue to drain this uh, my power system. Hopefully, uh, uh, there will be a day where I won't have to worry about all of that. Till then. We, uh... We are going to drop some more coal in here. Like so. Alright. <clears throat> Probably need a chest in here to keep machines and whatnot in. So, now I can begin populating my ME system with stuff. Like nether stuff. I suppose I can clean up my inventory a bit as well while I'm here. Oh. Gotta turn it on. See stone, cobble, a glowstone, tainted soil, oh dirt. I don't want dirt in there. Iron. Primarily, I expect this is going to get used for um all of my ores. our clockwork engine in there as well. So let's go dump all of this stuff here and here. Finish cleaning stuff up. Alright, so, you know, it's uh, something I meant to do last episode. Happy 25th episode, right? Except I'm like two episodes late. <laughs> um, yeah, man, this has been fun so far. I've enjoyed... Uh, Enjoyed helping you guys, some of you, get your packs running. Um, I see that there are some of you that are apparently doing your own YouTube series on it, so awesome. Um, and, yeah. Man, 25 episodes happen fast. Really fast. Almost too fast. That's okay. Um, I guess we need to discuss whether or not you guys want a, uh, a world download of my world. So let's let's hear from from some of you guys what you think about that. Uh, we can can or can't make that happen. I've not even looked at the at the 
the world folder yet on the server to determine how large it is. I'm fairly certain it's big. Um, but if you guys want it, we can we can probably make that happen. So let's let's discuss that in uh, in my comments um, for some of these videos. We can we can work that out. One of the other things that I wanted to do was to plug another thing that I and Mead have done, and that was Minecraft Power Hour. For those of you that enjoy watching drunken foolishness, uh, you need to go check out Minecraft Power Hour, which is another video that's in my channel. It is where I and Silas and Mead and Doom and Joel and there were a couple other Sledge and I think Monkey. I'm forgetting somebody, I'm certain. Anyhow, we all sat down with our beers <clears throat> and we jumped on a creative creative mode server and we determined that we were going to build a spaceship. So we laid out a little bit of spaceship. And what we did is to proceed with an album called Power Hour by Ali Spagnola. It's a series of 60, 60, one minute long songs. Alright, and what you're supposed to do is, once the music changes, you take a shot of beer. That's 60 shots. That's a lot of beer, I'm just going to say. Um, so yeah, we started out, uh, you know, pretty well, and it, <laughs> it, it degraded quickly. Um, as you can imagine. And sadly, what we did not do was record the shenanigans that occurred after the power hour was complete. But, um, yeah, if you if you want or enjoy watching Drunken Foolishness, I'm certain that we all made fools of ourselves. You should go and check it out. Minecraft Power Hour. Um, <clears throat> and depending upon whose perspective you want, um, you can see my perspective or Mead's perspective. We both recorded and published, so... I suggest you go check it out. Um, the other things, too, you guys might enjoy is, uh, those of you that are new to the channel, if you've not checked it out yet, is my, um, you know, I might make another deep storage unit for the wood, um, is to check out uh, my Crashtastic series. There we go. Um, the Crashtastic game was actually the game that I started my YouTube channel with, and, uh, you know, it kind of it kind of got old and stale for me, and I've not played it in a while, and to those of you that came here, you know, because of my Crashtastic series, I, I apologize. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll get back to it eventually, but, uh, until then, I'm, I'm waiting for some more updates from Mark Smith, and we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. Alright, so, mostly done with sorting through the inventory. Uh, probably gonna need to make some more drives. Alright, so, redwood planks, I have a hundred and ten of them, we'll just leave them there. And... No logs. Awesome. So we can turn this guy off. Now, the last time I, or the last time I checked, uh, turning this thing off and waiting for the power to drain. Doop, doop, doop. There it goes. And what will happen is this will all go gray and become unavailable as the power goes. Oop, and there it is. Oh, my stuff is gone. The drives are off, but the stuff is still there. So this is really close. We should probably get another uh, energy or another ME drive plugged in there. All right. Um, let's see what else do we want to do this episode? I should probably eat now that I've turned off my ME system. <coughs> Some baked potatoes and. Oh, I still got stuff in here. I need to get out. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's um, let's do, let's do this real quick. Nope, oh, I almost made it. All right. Um, yeah. Let's do this real quick. I've got an idea, something that I wanted to do. 
kind of it's kind of a creative flavor thing, but it's kind of not. Um, so one of the secret rooms mod things that we can do is to make a secret chest. There we go. So we need zombie meat, a chest, and more camouflage paste. Okay, I think we can make all of that happen. Let's um, let me go get my axe. And I'm going to clean up the chests. We still need to get some of that stuff in. Um, I might... Yeah, I'm not even... I'm, it's not even a might. I'm going to make another uh, another pair of storage cells for the ME system. I'll do that off camera. Since you guys have seen me do it once already. Uh, I'm just going to do a bit of housekeeping and cleaning up and moving inventory around. And I will... Uh, yeah, some of this stuff can be moved as well. Now that I've got these bibliocraft items up here, it is most awesome. Alright. Yep. I'll be back in a second. You guys, stay tuned. Okay. Did some housekeeping. And let's, um... Oh, what's going on here? <clears throat> some bricks. And polish up some of this. I'm going to look into starting the Emmy Crafter next. It's going to go in the corner here, I think. Yeah. So, how big do we want to make it? Let's see. Hmm. I don't think I want it to fill up the entire space. That might be a bit much. Let's just start now with... Yeah, I think this will be plenty to start with. As a matter of fact... Um, I think... Uh, for now, we can start smaller. I'll expand it. We'll expand it by blocks of two. Yeah. Oh, hello, torch. So there we go. This will give us... I didn't need to take all of those down, did I? All right. <clears throat> this will give us a processor and a pattern provider, and we can expand it from there. All right. So, put away my dirt blocks and break this stuff down. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna do a three by three by three. No, a three by three by five. Miscounting, yay! Alright, so we need to build containment blocks, and we also need to build heat vent blocks. Alright, so uh, the containment blocks are. Do I have any gold hanging around in my inventory? <clears throat> I do, and iron, I'll need that too. And I'm also going to need crystals. Alright, we'll come down here. Get out of here, Enderman, wherever you're at. I don't want you. Alright, containment block, here we go. It's the ME Assembler Containment Wall. Iron in the corners. Gold on the sides, and quartz in the middle. So. There we go. We're gonna need, whoop, we're gonna need 24 of these. Oh, I run out of gold. 
goes quickly, doesn't it? And this will also end up being a multi-block structure. There we go. <clears throat> and now we need to make heat vents, which I believe we're going to need some of this stuff for. We might actually need more of that stuff. Let's go get another stack or two. Sounds like all kinds of crazy stuff going on up there. <clears throat> get some more iron. I need to make a heat vent. Go. Iron ME cable and iron bars. Alright. We don't have that much. Let's see, we need two, four. Six, eight, nine, ten, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So we just do have enough ME cable. I do think, however, we're going to need more iron bars. Especially if we're going to upgrade it in the future. All right. Um, right. Iron bars on the side. And iron in the corners. Alright, now something else that we're going to need to go in here is... A pattern provider. Um... <clears throat> Gonna need a storage cell, and we're also gonna need a crafting. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's roll with the pattern provider first. All right. We're gonna need a redstone diamond ship set, which I've got a few of. We're gonna need two conversion matrices, which is see two more gold redstone chip sets. I've got two of those. You know what? Let's let's see how much space I have left in the ME system. I did add a couple of drives. I, I think I just added one drive. I did. Um, let's see how much space is on it. Eh, it'll be close because we can use this crafting terminal. I do believe. Do this. All right. So. Start with just a little bit of everything that we need. Redstone. Alright, so. Conversion matrix. Iron. Another quartz. Fluix dust. Redstone chips, a uh, redstone golden chip set, and circles. I should be able to pop two of these out just like that. Awesome. All right, and let's see, we're gonna need a crafting table. Oh, all right, so I also have to clear this. If there were a button here to clear that, that would be nice. There we go. Crafting table. <clears throat> Some more iron. And for right now, we only need one of these things, so. Uh, chip set. Storage cell. And we have a pattern provider. 
All right, we're also going to need a crafting CPU. <clears throat> so we need glowstone and our... Oh, we can push this right. Glowstone? Or the glowstone dust, rather. And some surface quartz. And as I've got extra stuff... Let, you know what? Let me just get one for now. And what we need to do is we need to put a heat vents in, top and bottom, sides, back. All right. You fill the inside of the space with crafting CPUs and pattern providers, like so. And then you close it up on the outside with oh, heat vents. Ta-da! And now you can add recipes. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about those in a future episode because I think we're... Well, no, I think I've got another 10 minutes here. Um, so, <clears throat> the next step to expand this thing, I'm going to grow him out um, one block in this direction. Uh, so, some of these things that we can make easily... We'll need two more heat vents and one more crafting CPU. So the one more crafting CPU will be easy. Um, and the one more heat, the, the two more heat vents, those will be easy. And we'll just drop them in here for now. I have to get used to pushing the escape button to get out of that. All right, so um, the next thing we're going to need to do is, uh, well, I guess we're going to need to make some more ME cable. And glass. We'll start there. Oh, uh, okay. Well, now that I've got all that in place over there, this is going to be kind of... Apparently not. Ta-da! Alright, and now the whole thing is hooked up to the ME system. It wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. Okay, maybe I laid it out or planned it that way to begin with. Okay. Alright, um, so we're going to need to make ME patterns. Uh, which look like this. We can make a few of those, I think. Pattern. Nope, that's an encoded pattern. We want blank pattern. Empty all this out. Quartz. Glass. Glowstone and iron. <clears throat> I'm gonna make yeah, we'll make eight. We ran all the iron out of the assembler or the terminal here. Um, what's next? We're going to need a pattern. Oh, I think they're all called pattern something or other. We need our pattern encoder. So we're going to need another conversion matrix. Let me go get some more iron. There we go. Um, right. Iron. Chipset. Alright, we need one of those. 
And we're gonna need another crafting table. Easily done. And iron. And there we go. And I'll drop this guy. Put him right here. He doesn't need to be powered or hooked up to the system at all. Uh, but he does have to be... Um, he does have to be used. So what we'll do, um, we'll put our blank pat. No, 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 that's not what I want to do at all. We're going to put our blank patterns up here. And we'll start out with something easy. We'll say wood. Come over here. And we'll say, this is how you craft a crafting table. Click our encode button. We get a crafting table. Now I know there's some way that one can change this so that the crafts with item is generic. Well, quite frankly, I've not figured it out and I've got enough redwood hanging around. I'm not too concerned about that at the moment, but I need to figure that bit out. So right click on this guy and I put my encoded pattern in here and there it is. It's a crafting table. <clears throat> I can come over here and ask for a crafting table. And it says craft. I can click on the button and it will ask me how many of them I want it to craft. So, yay, that's awesome. Um, so the other thing is a conversion matrix, right? We've had to use those a few times. All right. Or not. What the heck is it called? Apparently it doesn't show up. Alright, so... Click the clear button and it clears out the recipe. And I believe I can use the question mark button here as well. Oh, I need a redstone chip set. We have just one. Now, the important part about the pattern provider is that it's not consuming anything. So there we go. I don't have any flux dust. It's okay because it's not an actual inventory. Like so. And then we can now click a button and have conversion matrix just on the fly crafted for us when we need. So awesome. And just like that, we're running up on time to call it an episode. My family just got home, so I'll go and spend some time with them. But uh, before that, I'm going to. Do, do, do. I'm going to jump back here real quick. There we go. I don't know that I've got enough all of these, but uh, we're going to make some items that will give me access to the contents of my DSUs. So, and between episodes, I'm going to make some more uh, DSUs. I'm going to clean up. Matter of fact, um, I think I'm mostly done with the diamond pipes here. Maybe we'll be able to use these eventually uh, when we get bees going. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to make some more deep storage units um, and hopefully fill the rest of this wall. We'll see how well that goes. Um, and then we'll, we'll talk maybe in a few episodes about the quarry and bringing items into uh, this whole system. We'll need to expand our drive storage first. Anyhow, we want to get access to that stuff. Um, and what we need, I've also broken this block here so I can get to uh, the assembler. Um, I've also taught it how to make patterns, and I've taught it how to make in, uh, ME cables. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a storage bus. Alright, and what we want, I believe, got to start with the ME interface. Oh. Alright, storage bus, ME interface. Alright, 
So we might as well go ahead and teach the system how to make one of these. So I'm going to need an ME cable and a conversion matrix. So let's ask for a conversion matrix. And I've got ME cable and iron and glass. <clears throat> Clear this guy out. There we go. Glass. Iron. Our conversion matrix. And our ME cable. We'll encode this guy. Awesome. Oop, there it is. And now we can set deep storage unit, iron, ME cable, and a, uh, what was it called? Interface. Want one of those. Oh. Well, now we run into a problem, apparently. So what is it looking for? Conversion matrix? It should be crafting the conversion matrix by itself. Well. So, you know, it's 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 past that time. So um there is a block. We'll make it next episode that will allow us to see what's going on um with the crafting stuff. I believe it's called crafting interface, but uh, we will get to that later. And until then, you guys, stay out of trouble and have fun. Woo!